Stephen Curry is known to be a nice guy. Sure, he's been obnoxious with celebrations, but he's earned it as a two-time MVP. But it's rare for Curry to get angry, so much so that there was literally an article about whether Curry's outburst was a good model for Christians because it was so unusual. Nani? Look at Curry, man. So for Curry to get really angry was already weird enough, but for him to get mad at you enough to retaliate, well, that is what happened, not just once. And let's just say that it was something. What is up, dudes, students, ballers, players? It's your boy MJ. Players all have some sort of reputation, like Kyrie, who has the moody complex reputation. Also, why are we hitting on Kyrie? Kyrie is trying to bring light to the BLM movement and work with the league. This is what he said. This is what ESPN called him. Heck, Bleacher Report accused him of trying to start a whole new league in the Nets group chat. His teammates responded with this. And now Perkins is blaming Kyrie for distracting the media when the media chooses to focus on Kyrie. That's stupid! Use your common sense! Alright, enough of that. There are also the ones that don't have a nice guy reputation. And then there's guys like Kawhi Leonard who don't show much emotion. I'm a fun guy. Klay Thompson who keep their cool and their guys like Stephen Curry who are the nice guys. But then there's also the Patrick Beverly's of the world that get under a player's skin like Joel Embiid who got Andre Drummond so irritated that he got ejected. Ah! It comes as a shock when players break that reputation like Westbrook being a nice guy. Uh, then I'm a nice guy. <laughs> so we're gonna have a few stories and start in December of 2018 and let's dive deep. Just gonna say that I got a new reaction channel so show some love cause I'm reacting once we hit 5k, streaming Last of Us Part 2 on Twitch cause that stuff's lit, and uh, subscribe if you like the content. We survive until July 31st. Yeah. The Warriors are facing the Clippers, they are the defending champions, and the Clippers are sort of supposed to be, well, irrelevant. Tobias Harris is still there, but they have six-man Lou Will and some notable role players, including Patrick Beverly. Yes, the Patrick Beverly that is notorious for getting under people's skins. And in the second quarter, Curry gets an offensive board and then flexes, sort of right in front of Beverly, not necessarily looking at him. And then Beverly swipes at the ball, keeps going at Curry, and then pushes him. They both get into it and get double technicals. Uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, a little push. After a bit of back and forth with the referee, Curry ends the encounter with a smile. Just the typical nice guy stuff. Now, Curry has gone into fights before this moment. More like a singular real fight. There have been moments that Curry has gotten irritated, but it didn't really impact this play afterwards. It was a quick burst of emotion and then back to calm. Curry wouldn't just start jacking up shots to retaliate. In fact, Steph Curry could shoot almost every shot, but he chooses to stay patient. Not like DeMarcus Cousins, who, uh... Stop it. Get some help. But this time was different. This time, Curry wasn't having it. And maybe that's because Beverly has a history of doing this with other players. Maybe because Beverly has done this with Curry already in the 2016 playoffs. And so 19 seconds after this, Curry commits a foul on Beverly. Curry misses a pull up, draws a foul, and then makes a three all under two minutes of this event happening. Yeah, Curry was amped. He would end up scoring 15 points in that second quarter on some ridiculous weaving. Mid-range shooting half in NBA history. They're getting close. Curry with a three. No one, including Beverly, was stopping him. Curry continues assault in the third quarter, and as the fourth rolled around, the game was still close. And so Curry would end up hitting a four-point play. Turns and fires a three. He was But the main play of the game, with the game hanging in the balance, was... Three. Look how far they pushed him out. Curry, down the lane for the lead! He got it! 
Curry's revenge was completed in the moment. Like I said, Stephen Curry had a different energy this game. He ended the game with 42 points, attempting 15 three-pointers. But this wouldn't be the only time in the season that Curry would get mad and retaliate in-game. Like this mini scuffle against the Thunder, after which Curry hits a three and then runs into the locker room like a giddy little child. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. We know who won that from. Hold that, <laughs> big fella. Hold that. That's how you get a team back right there. <laughs> it was satisfying to him, but the rest of the game wasn't really close and more about KD and Westbrook beefing. There was also this mini incident between Stephen Curry and, of course, Kendrick Perkins, who didn't even play in the entire playoffs, but it's Kendrick Perkins. We behind the back pass. This is crazy. Tragic Bronson oh, is back. He's back. <laughs> Curry takes his tough shot at the end of the third in game two of the 2018 NBA Finals. He sort of lands near Perkins and Curry is irritated that Perkins didn't move his feet. Perkins asks Curry what he's on and immediately they start barking at each other. Apparently Curry asked him, you ain't playing tonight? Damn. That exchange might have lit a fire under Curry because Curry came out guns blazing, took four shots in the first two minutes of the fourth quarter, and continued a barrage of three pointers, ending the game with 16 points with five three pointers, including one four point play. Curry finds Green. Back to Curry. Three pointer. Puts it in. And a foul. And this ridiculous three. Cover. Shot clock winding down. Curry's going to have to put it up. Launches it up. Shot clock. Oh, he knocks it down. Steph Curry with the shot clock expiring. After the game, Curry said that the scuffle was much ado about nothing, but maybe that was just what he needed to get an edge. Everybody hates Perkins. Try it! And oddly enough, that incident between Curry and Beverly would have a part two months later in April of 2019, game three of the 2019 NBA playoffs. The playoffs that Patrick Beverly would annoy the shit out of Kevin Durant and get him ejected. Yeah. Now this entire game, Curry consistently gets by Beverly, so after drive after drive, that probably got annoying to Beverly so much so that in the beginning of the third quarter, things get physical. Pat took his frustration out at Curry, just straight up whacking Curry, but this time Curry didn't even look at Bev. Instead, he just got upset at the refs for not calling some sort of technical. Unlike the last game, Curry didn't let it affect how he'd play. In fact, most of his damage was done before the third quarter. The Warriors would end up winning by 27 points, two somewhat similar situations, but two completely different outcomes. Just a few days after that game on April 24th, Beverly was asked, has there ever been a time in which you were dishing out a lot of smack and it led to you getting torched? Beverly pretty much deflected and said this instead. I ain't gonna come at nobody and I know he's a hitter. Ain't no need to talk to him. I know what he brings, I'm locked in. I'm watching him. I ain't gonna go out there and trash talk to Steph Curry. Steph Curry gets 30 shots a game. Some people you pick your balance with, not talking and then he's like, oh, what's up with Pat? Oh, he locked in. What's interesting is that he brought up Steph Curry when answering the question. The question was never about Steph, but maybe he remembered that time a few months ago of how his antics sort of triggered Steph. That would be really funny if somehow Beverly was traumatized by the whole experience and doesn't want to come after Steph, but it's Beverly. See, I find trash talk stories interesting because usually it's a game in the near future that was premeditated, where the revenge happens because the trash talk happens towards the end of the game or in a press conference. It's planned revenge. Moments like these, where it's really an immediate revenge story, it's a spur of the moment thing, and that's what Curry did to these opponents. Sometimes instincts take over. We've seen it happen in random moments with Jordan, Kobe banked 500 grand on a free throw, and it's a beautiful thing. But what do you think? Who's the angriest player in the NBA ever? Drop a like if you like NBA fights. These semi-serious ones where no one really gets hurt, but they throw in hands. New reaction channel, Discord, streaming Last of Us 2. Yeah, we survive until July 31st. Keisha! <laughs> Keisha! Oh my god. Where do I go? This is so scary. And if you're still here, you a real one. So comment instinct, so I know. The Instagram shout of the day goes to Harshan, and the all-day notification shout goes to Christian Blake. Thanks for the all-day support.
make sure to hit the bell for all your notifications and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button join the all day community for more fire content, all day support. It's your boy MJ, we out and we vibing. Okay, just stop in my spaceship, no, no.